Hello friends, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. So what we have learned so far is button, text view, edit text and switching between activities. Now in this video we will learn how we can pass data between activities. So we had this activity you can see we have an edit text here. Now if we want to pass the input value of this edit text to this activity second then what we will do. We will again use the intent object that we use to start a new activity. We can attach some values to intent as well and the values are passed in key values pair. So we can attach the value to this intent as well. Now how to attach values? First we need value to attach value. So we will pass this name that we will enter in this activity to next activity. So come inside main activity and here first we will get the name. So again we will create a new val and we have name equals to edit text name dot text. So we have the name that is provided on that edit text and then we will put this name to this intent and we can easily do this by using put extra. Now this method takes two parameters. The first parameter is the key. So we can write any key as a string. So key will always be a string. And the next parameter is the value. So as I told you that the values are transferred in key and value pairs. So this particular value, this name is the key and whatever the name will be, and we will input the name this is the value so in the next activity we can fetch this name by using this key name so to fetch this value in the next activity first we will create a text view here in the second activity so drag a text view and see we have a text view and um, change the id Let's say text view name and also I will change the size to let's say 24 or we can increase a bit more. So we have a text view. Now come inside second activity dot kt and here we will get the intent first. So to get the intent we can simply write intent. So first we will create an intent object. So let's say val intent or we can make it more short, but let's do it the long way first. So we will create an object. Let's say intent object and the type of this object would be an intent and we will get it from intent. That's it. Now in this intent object we have the value that is passed from the first activity and the value is in key and value pairs and we can fetch the value using the key and we already know what is the key key is name so we can use this name to fetch the value now we can again create a new val and it is now name equals to intent object dot get string extra we have many methods like get end extra get float extra get boolean extra so whatever the value you passed from the activity you need to use according to uh, you need to use the method according to the value you passed from the first activity so in this case i passed an string i passed a string so I will use get string extra. So let's write here get string extra and it will take a parameter which is key. So you know what is the key? Key is name. That's it. Now we will get the passed value in this variable, this val. Now we can use this val to set the fetch data in the text view we created. So first we will again, we again create a text view so again we will write late in it where text view uh, text view name 
and the type would be text view that's it now we will initialize this text view object so we'll write text view name equals to find view by id r dot id dot and text view name so we have text view name and we can simply write text view name dot text equals to hey and the name that's it now it should work so let me show you that it is working or not so we will run it now let's test it so I will write my name here go to next oops we are getting null something is wrong in the code so let's check it so uh, what is the problem here is uh, this val is not a string and here we are getting a string we are expecting a string so this is the problem that's why we are getting a null value because there is no string with a key name as this is not a string then what it is the text property contains an editable so we have to explicitly write here that convert it to string and then now it is a string and we can also define the type of this val by using this colon now we have a string here now we are putting a string in this intent and now we can expect that we are getting and uh, we are getting a string so it should work so let's test it now let's test again you can see we are getting the value so this is how we pass data from one activity to another activity now one thing i want to tell you as well is if you if you are already doing it in java then we don't hard code uh, we don't hard code this string values we create public static fields for the key for the keys if we work on java but in kotlin we don't have anything like static so what we can do in kotlin so for this we have companion object in kotlin so we can write companion object and here we can define the keys so we can define key name and constant val key name now this is an equivalent to public static of java now we can put key name here So this is our key name and in the second activity we can write like this we can write main activity dot key name so you can see this this thing is equivalent to public static in java so this will work as well and we can also write it like this simply intent so we don't need this line this will work as well and inside main activity as well we can simply write this way we can write like this uh, cut it paste it here dot put extra and paste this thing here so we can do this way as well so this will work as well you can see now we have less code so the less code is always a good thing so this will work as well i will show it to you you can see it is working so I am wrapping up this video here guys and if you are having any queries, feedbacks or questions feel free to leave your comments I will reply you for sure and if you like the video please give me a like 
subscribe to my channel and please 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 share this video thanks for watching guys we'll see you in the next video